Hello everyone, back again on the YouTube channel on Wardono Ritrianto. How are you guys doing today? Hopefully in good health. I've been wanting to upload this video for a long time but didn't have time. On this occasion I would like to share a video tutorial on how to install Ajaz on HTML. A few months ago I received information from an email that the hosting I managed changed to panel which was originally Sipanel, especially hosting affiliated with Niagahoster or Hostinger. They have implemented panel and have eliminated or left panel. This video will be helpful for anyone who will install Ajaz on panel. Because the appearance and settings of HPanel are not the same as the panel display. For everyone will find it difficult to use panel for Ajaz. Let's look at the following video carefully. I will convey the tutorial very clearly and orderly. If there is anything that is not clear, please ask via the comments column. Thank you. The first step please visit the PKP site to download Ajaz. To find out the latest Ajaz version, please read the PKP Ajaz release page, usually at the top for the latest version. On this page a list of Ajaz appears. Let's download it by clicking the red button to start downloading the Ajaz installation file. Here we will use the Ajaz 3.4 version. Preparation before installing Ajaz we must balance the PHP version between hosting and Ajaz 3.4. In Ajaz 3.4 using PHP version 8.0. Let's check the PHP version on our hosting by clicking the advanced menu and selecting PHP info. Here it appears that our hosting uses PHP version 8.1, meaning that it supports the minimum specifications for Ajaz 3.4. The next step is to add a website on the domain that we will install Ajaz. How to click the Add Website menu and select Skip to start adding manual Ajaz 3.4. Until you find a display of domain options that will be installed Ajaz. After selecting the domain, the next step is to click Manage Site and click File Manager. This is an important step. We cannot put any folders outside the public HTML folder. The trick is to click the upload button or icon on the top right then select the WinRAR Ajaz 3.4 file that we have downloaded. Wait a few moments until the Ajaz file upload process is complete. Move the Ajaz folder file into the public HTML folder. Don't forget to create a files folder to save the Ajaz article PDF.
At the next stage we open a new tab and visit the URL that we have installed Aegis. Then it will appear like this, meaning that we have entered the proper installation process for Aegis 3.4. First we create an Aegis administrator account by typing the username and password in this column. Then set the Aegis file directory with the following settings. Next we will create a database user and database password for Aegis. We now move to the HPanel hosting page then click the database menu. Please create the database username and database password first. Please remember your database username and password. Please retype the database username and password on the Aegis installation page. Please see the video. The last step is to click the Install Open Journal Systems button to end the installation process. This is the display that the Aegis installation was successful and can be used. Please check your administrator account login and start setting up Aegis. Thank you for following the video tutorial. Don't forget to subscribe, like and comment. See you in the next video.